Hey guys, welcome back to Warren Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a Jeep Cherokee, Jeep Compass or Jeep Renegade guys with a 2.4 multi-air engine and you're trying to remove your valve cover, let's say you need to work on the engine or you need to replace your valve cover gasket because you have an oil leak, we'll show you guys how to do that. Now, as you can see, the engine is out of the Jeep guys, but you do not have to remove the engine in order to do that guys. Why we have the engine out? Because uh, we'll be making at least 100 videos on that engine and we want to show you with the great detail where every little bolt is and how to get to it and how to remove everything so uh, quite a bit of work goes in here guys our mission is to save you as much money as we can and that's why we guys make more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop we do mechanical work body work a little bit of everything so please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video let us explain now okay what you need to do in order to remove uh, that valve cover or if you need to replace the valve cover gasket so guys let me explain quick okay if the engine is in the vehicle you'll face it that way when you open the hood right here you have the air filter box so stay with us we'll explain what you need to do first you need to remove your uh, engine cover just pull it straight up okay it has four rubber bushings that it attaches to one two three four and those guys they attach to the uh, to the valve cover let us uh, let us explain you where now guys okay you can see one two three four and we'll show you guys what you need to do now so right here you have the air filter box guys this is the uh, hose for the intake okay and you need to get that hose clamp loose and once you get it loose uh, you can go ahead and pull the uh, the hose out okay you just unscrew it with a flathead screwdriver like this one here okay we'll need to do one more on this side on the throttle body okay check it out just get it loose there as well now this is the intake temperature sensor remove that one as well let me go on the other side so i can show you a little bit better where things are a little bit limited room here guys you're going to have one clip that clip will look like the clip right here but it's broken you go with the clip removal tool underneath and you pull that clip out then you have a 10 millimeter bolt holding right there go ahead remove it guys okay like that and you can grab that piece and pull it up so you can see that's some of the first steps about removing the uh, valve cover okay to remove that valve cover out of the engine now guys next you can see where your engine uh, engine cover attaches on top okay this thing will need to come out okay like that just unscrew it right here do not lose that thing guys very important not to lose it so next right here you can see we need to disconnect okay that clamp uh, okay push down on it perfect like that remove that nut 10 millimeter now this is your camshaft position sensor disconnect it okay press okay that thing ours is broken that brown thing you need to uh, push it up then you're going to press here and pull it out okay like that and that uh, uh, that uh, coolant pipe actually attaches to the coolant reservoir right here it says bottle check it out one clamp remove it okay and you can go ahead and pull it out or you just pull it out of the engine and you flip it on the side guys what else we need to do quite a bit of work here now guys we need to disconnect our wiring harness and now the interesting part is here because we will need to start taking things apart and first we need to remove the ignition coils okay let me focus quick here that red thing press it back push down now right here and disconnect the coils one by one perfect this one is out too just press disconnect them okay and we can go ahead and remove the ignition coils now with a 10 millimeter socket that we'll need to do guys and you can see each of the ignition coils it has one bolt that we need to remove perfect next grab them pull them out guys okay we dropped out one of our bolts so pick it up if you do that 
Leave your spark plugs in because if you drop anything you can pull it out later otherwise it's going to end up in the engine. You can see how deep that hole is. Unbelievable. Next guys, we have a few more things to do here. We will disconnect the wiring harness now. Okay, you're going to have clips guys, plastic clips like this one here. And you remove them with a, uh, with a clip removal tool. Go underneath, okay, underneath right here when you get it loose right there that way you will not break it guys okay because somebody already broke it the one here and you're going to have one right there you see this is broken this one is good so if you can go underneath go ahead and pull them that way perfect here guys we have one sensor that we need to disconnect okay like that okay you can check it out pcv holes on the back side there disconnect it as well okay great now let's see what else we need to do here in order guys to be able to pull that uh, valve cover out everything else should be good there eight millimeter socket and we start removing both guys get them loose you will not be able to pull them out some may come out but you actually have to keep them on the cylinder head and we'll explain later how to replace them as well if you need to buy a new gasket, we will have guys the link in the description of the video below, so check it out, okay, where we get ours from. Okay, I'm trying to show you where all the bolts are, to follow the action. Perfect, right here in the middle we have four more that are hidden that impact is amazing guys we have it listed in the description of the video below in case you want to get one saves you so much time perfect now that gasket might be stuck guys so you might need to pry here a little bit with a screwdriver okay just careful if it's not coming out probably something still holding okay a little bit in the back it's holding so let's put a little bit there one more bolt i told you guys if it may be stuck okay it may be stuck but if it's not coming okay loose after you pry a little bit don't force it guys okay let's see if anything else is holding maybe we have a bolt that is not loose all the way yep one in the corner right there once we remove it i'll show you where all the bolts are as well okay we get it out let me show you where all the bolts are this is the front of the engine one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen guys okay now remember 15 16 17 18 19 20 bolts and this is guys the valve cover every time you remove it it's recommended to replace the gaskets and don't forget to replace the one in the middle here for the spark plugs as well so now the gasket guys when you are about to install it okay you get a new one okay you start pulling this one out okay just pull it a little bit at time okay you can see the bolts will drop once they come out of the gasket they drop guys and you can replace okay those bushings as well on the bolts if you uh, want to uh, want to avoid guys uh, leaking most of the times they won't okay this is just to keep pressure but when you're ready to install it all you have to do okay you push it in we'll go ahead order ours today uh, you can find guys the link in the description of the video below to see where we get ours from and don't forget to replace the one here in the middle as well for the spark plugs okay and the other bolt will drop as well so we need to go ahead and do this one uh, to you guys so that's how you guys do it not very complicated uh, now when you are ready to install it you need to apply a thin amount of silicone sealant guys okay let me explain where okay right here a little bit of silicone sealant right there and there this is where guys okay uh, this is where the timing cover meets the cylinder head and you need to apply a little bit right here where uh, that camshaft cap is located on this side this is the sealant guys it's amazing sell it in smaller or bigger quantities depending on what you need we'll have this one listed as well thank you for watching and see you guys next time